why I'm not excited for the Pokemon remakes. Fourth generation of Pokemon will always hold a special place in my heart. These are the first games that came out after I was a fan, and I love the feeling of a new generation of Pokemon. I got a DS for my birthday when I was 8 years old, and I've played these games countless times since then. It really felt like these were the games made for children my age back then. Call it nostalgia, but I've had fond memories of playing these games every time I've played through them. Even recently, when I played through Platinum again in 2020, I still felt the same amazement as I did as a kid. So why am I not excited for these games? Well, let's just dive into the big elephant in the room, the art style. I've never been too picky about art styles in Pokemon games before, but these just look wrong. Over these last two generations of Pokemon, the characters have been consistently improving to appear more realistic in their proportions. Just look at the Sword and Shield protagonists, for example. They're full-on human 3D models. They're not pixelated sprites, and they don't have huge head-to-body ratios. So when I saw this, I was disturbed. These don't look like the Dawn and Lucas I knew as a kid. These look like even more ridiculous than the X and Y models. Seeing chunky NPCs move around a grid while looking at this is a major step back from the free-moving models we have in Sun and Moon and Sword and Shield. Another graphical issue I've had with these trailers is the lack of outlines. I know games have had options where you can choose to have outlines or not, but all the clips in the trailer don't have an outline, which with this cartoonish art style doesn't look all that good. Uh, I know art style is a very minor determinant if the game is good or not, so this brings me to my second point, the gameplay. I know this is way too early to tell from a two minute trailer, but the gameplay looks very untouched from the originals. You know, like I already see you going into the comments being, Pokemon has had the same gameplay mechanics since the beginning, that's not a valid complaint. And you know, you're right, but this seems like a copy and paste version of Diamond and Pearl. You try to enter Barry's house and he bumps into you, just like the original. You encounter wild Pokemon and a little grassy shuffle animation appears as you encounter the Pokemon, just like the original. To connect with people, you join the Union Room, just like the original. To apply that in a post-PSS and YCOM Pokemon game where you need to stop playing these games to go to the nearest Pokemon Center just to trade or battle with your friends seems outrageous. From what this trailer has shown, this remake seems to just be a remastered version of everything I can do here in my Nintendo DSi XL. Which brings me to my third and final point. We didn't see anything new in this trailer. Pokemon remakes have always brought something new to enhance the gameplay of the originals. Fire Red and Leaf Green had the Sevi Isles quest, which provides some type of post-game that you beat Team Rocket once and for all. Heart Gold and Soul Silver had many new facets, like the Pokeathlon Dome, where you and your Pokemon can compete in a variety of events to win prizes. Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire had the Delta episode, where you can actually go to space and catch Deoxys. Now, I know more information about this game will be released later, but they could have even teased something, but they didn't. The gameplay showed none of the Battle Zone, even, the large post-game island, Will there even be a Battle Frontier? Who knows, they didn't show anything. I wanted Sinnoh remakes for a while now, and after seeing what modern Pokemon games could be with Sword and Shield, I was really looking forward to what an older generation could be like on the Switch. But when I watched the trailer, my first instinct wasn't, wow, this is Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. It was, wow, this is Diamond and Pearl HD. Argue with me all you want, but I'm not wrong on that. It almost feels like Game Freak wanted to just port the game to the Switch, but had to make it look new because Nintendo has been under fire for their recent game ports. Am I saying this game is going to be bad? Of course not. The game just got announced today and plenty more will be shown before launch. But this reveal left me with not a lot of excitement, but with caution. Not everything all that was shown about the game is bad. Showing Pokemon like Starly and Cricketune seems promising that more Pokemon cut from Sword and Shield will return, but to what extent? We don't know yet. Overall, from what I've seen from this trailer, just feels incomplete. Pokemon remakes have always been about expanding onto older games and combining old and new elements from the series to make a more polished game, but I haven't seen that from yet from what's been shown. If you made it to the end of this video and agreed with any of the points I've made, please consider giving a like. Let's know how you feel about it, and if you have other points I missed, feel free to leave a comment. I'd love to hear what other people are, trying to, are thinking about this.